there's a hole in the roots. By Lynn Walker. Illustrated by David Coverly. I think we're just talking about the roots. It's about a rainy day in London and a rainy autumn. We need more rain. That's why I'm reading all of the rain books. We just need more rain. <laughs> There's a hole in a root. It was a small hole at first. The rainwater barely leaked in. So the man sat and thought as he rocked in his chair just how he ought to begin. Should I patch it with straw, or with tar, or with wood, with pitch, or try cork, maybe tin? He thought and he studied and then he thought some more, but still the water came in. It started out slow with a drip on the floor. That drip was soon followed by a lot more. In no time at all, while he studied and thought, the water had covered the floor. Hmm. He tied an umbrella with rope to his chair and pondered and pondered the problem at hand. He knew from the past that to do a job well, it must always begin with a plan. The water leaked in as he studied and thought, and all the while as it rose, he scribbled and scratched with his pad and his pen as the water inched over his toes. Even the cat's going, uh, hello, you see what's happening here? <laughs> his wife waded in with a scowl on her face and called to him from the front door. I can't take this hole in the roof anymore and this water that's all over my floor. But the man was so deep in the deepest of thoughts as he rocked back and forth in his seat. He hardly could hear a word that she said as the water rose over his feet. His kids and his wife floated on a boat as if they were lost on a sea. They waved a goodbye with a look of despair as the water rose over his knee. The cat's like, wait for me! <laughs> Don't panic, he called. Don't worry about it! You must always believe that you can. For he knew in his heart that if given the time, he'd come up with a great, wonderful plan. He'd plug up that hole. He'd start, stop that darn leak. He'd save his fine home from disaster. But no matter how hard he struggled to think, he just couldn't think any faster. Some food, he decided. That is all I need. Then once and for all, I'll get going. But I'd better eat fast to feed my poor brain, or soon I'm gonna have to start rowing. <laughs> Look at him thinking. He's quite a thinker. Still, the water leaked in as he studied and thought and covered some bread with plum jelly. He scribbled and scratched and munched on his snack as the water rose up to his belly. That's a lot of brain. Then all of a sudden, from the depths of the sea, a shark's fin sliced through the blue. It circled his chair and it snapped at his feet with hardly a how do you do? Dad blasted, cried he. I'd be eaten alive. This calls for fast action, and now I'll fix that 
big hole and I'll hook that mean shark as soon as I can figure out how. <laughs> oh boy. But he didn't do this and he didn't do that. In fact, he did nothing at all except stay in his chair and scratch on his head and hope that the roof didn't fall. Then the plan came to him. It came to him quick and came to him sudden and suddenly he knew what he should do. He'd swim to the bottom, drill a hole in the floor, and let all the water run through. to your tub? Is that going to work? But as soon as he perched on the edge of his chair and got ready to make his big dive, a thought crossed his mind that jiggled his brain. Will I ever come back alive? Hmm. And should that hole be round or square or small or large and wide? And should I cut it from end to end or saw it from side to side? The water leaked in as he studied and thought. By then, his house was a wreck. He scribbled and scratched with his pad and his pen, and the water rose up to his... Well, the hole in the roof never did get fixed, and the water, it rose and it rose, till all you could see was the top of his head while a bubble popped out of his rope to the chimney to get him out. So while it's true that planning is good before a job is begun, you must act on that plan with all of your might or the job will just never get started. Oh, that's a funny one. There's a hole in the roof. about somebody who thinks too much. You know how Mrs. Lewis talks to you about thinking about it before you write it, right? You know, think of those ideas and think of new new things that you want to write about and add them to your writing. And sometimes if you think too much, you get off track. And before you know it, you started writing about something totally different. So don't overthink it. And enjoy the I got lots of books.